turning sheep now brother and the shepherd yes. will move us wherever we want to we are implanting chips because of the fact that we are believing anything and everything should already give us an idea that whatever the shepherd wants us to believe and think that's where humanity is going to run into right so once we start and, implanting all of those things in our minds that's it they move us we we are just a joke and a game because all of right. these guys in the corporate business are psychologists and they have yes, studied your brain pretty well why don't you go through okay this is just a small crash but it's called psychic 101 right if you start reading this you might just probably be scared because imagine they have studied your brain they have they know what you like what you don't like as i said edward snowden just mm-hmm. they know everything about you from the very first day that you logged in you see sometimes when you're speaking about something and those ads they start flashing do you yeah, think yeah, it yeah. is random this is machine no. learning you see i mean google and knows yeah everyone knows everything you you carry that with you you talk about buying shoes and the next day or the same day google would give you the ads related to shoes yeah because your Google first 10 what? pages of the google are sold how many yes. people do know about it right look at this one what neil postman said in his book called amusing yourself to that he says technology is good but because for the fact that it's not distributed equally amongst everyone that creates a certain kind of hierarchy just because you know certain things which i do not know that creates a hierarchy and yes. then all of these people they sit down together and conspire against the people who do not know do you think this is fair like edward snowden in one of his books called the permanent record he said a very beautiful thing he said 97% of your internet is designed for you and your life is like a game of mario they are pushing you somewhere and they are erasing every single thing behind right and everybody wants to seek entertainment that's what it is right it's a show base now they've got every single thing that back in the days that you used to go out to seek right in front of your eyes you're yes. carrying an entertainment business right in your pocket you can do whatever you want our right? generation will never understand the joy that our ancestors would get in seeing the birds and stars like the open sky we we would never you know experience that unfortunately but that is right? the real sensory ex- experience and that is what the media is also doing yes yes it's so free the only thing is they are planning it in a way they are all planning it in a way exactly how they want to portray it to you <laughs> a very materialistic quote which said that which was actually des- designed and made to get people buying every day that said buy yeah. till you die yeah right? <laughs> even one of these buy things i said live live fast die young and i don't know all of these weird uh, so it is a weird things you know what i mean to say if yeah, not now to... then when if not us then who these yeah. things they just design for you know corporates and that's how they get people to purchase their stuff and that's how they get people to buy keep on buying and many people they are many people in this world that think that when they buy stuff they feel good but that that feeling of goodness is is really is not it's really short lived I, they don't feel good for a really long time see the next time when you want to buy something i'll give a very simple idea all right to all of the viewers watching so next time when you feel like buying something don't look outside what you're missing look inside what you're missing yeah why is travel in feeling yeah travel in word because why is it that feeling that you're getting that you want to buy something because it comes out from the void right minimalistic having yes. the most minimum right Mm-hmm. and it's like this new trend i think people are understanding it for a long time but this has been many people are not understanding this i think yeah you know minimalism people are yeah. understanding it. yeah because see if i would have taken my grandmother's advice when i was young today i wouldn't be in the situation what i am in is what she said was very great she said peeping into other people's home is a bad manner yeah but you know do you understand the depth of it that peeping mm-hmm. into other people's life is a bad manner people peeping into someone else's home is a bad manner because you are satisfied with what you have and when you start peeping in of course there is someone who has more than that more than you but how does it matter how does it matter right for the fact that but you see burning forests all of these things 
problems that we have wars and all of these things is based only on one thing is that feeling of i am better ego everybody is trying to prove that i am better but and if you look you know what you said is completely right and if you extend what you said i think every evil in this world you know the root of every evil in this world can be uh, you know traced down to materialism it is the love of this world that makes people do these things you, know, you name it murder kidnapping extortion corruption everything is you know because people they they forgotten that they are going to die someday yeah because most of the people are living either in the future or either in the past but they are not understanding that being in the present is where exactly your life is right yes. when you come into your original being because you have to understand one thing that shabas my role is an identity right and i am trying to live then i'm given a sort of a religion then i'm trying to live looking at how other people are behaving right because i play a lot of roles in life right i am shabas then i am shabas the son then i'm yes. shabas the friend then i'm shabas a partner carrying so many identities so many yeah. different identities and what is happening when you have so many identities you're trying to understand what is the right way of living that identity and you start to take knowledge from certain unenlightened people which are basically online and which are telling you how to live what is right and what is wrong but you we do not understand that technology is actually conditioning yeah they are conditioning us into certain way of thinking but where are they really taking us where are we going and our hearts know it's not like yes. we don't know we definitely know that there is something you know what rumi said yeah uh, you know one of the greatest poet rumi he said mm-hmm. that your heart knows the direction you just have to mm-hmm. run in that direction subhanallah life is easy yeah. brother you see you require two apples a day to survive but if you need a pizza on top of that that's your call the more desires you have the more the more you need to work right yeah. and where are these desires coming from it's from your eyes because look what you're watching as i said i'm in before until yesterday i was content with whatever i had until somebody came and showed me something new then i started to feel ah okay one second i think there's a void over here so i need to fill that up so the amount of things that you're watching you're just creating a trap for your own self okay. because that's what's happening just because you're following every single thing blindly mm-hmm. and for the fact for the fact that when you start feeling that emptiness it should already give you an idea that there is something that you're seeking and i was reading a book about zen but this and they say the biggest journey starts from a great doubt that great doubt actually is the thing which actually starts to put you on a journey to find that thing and definitely if you have a right intention you know the whole thing which has been going on about manifestation and stuff when you really mm-hmm. seek when you go out with an intention to find the real truth the whole of the universe just gets into its way to help it you it conspires and- to make that happen for you right that's what it is yes i think it's pretty boring for people because it's not entertainment you have to go through this book which is by neil postman it's called amusing yourself to death when mm-hmm. neil postman this amazing you, know, you have to i really it, need to yes, yes. definitely where he speaks that every single thing is an entertainment business right mm. even religion in a way has become an entertainment business because people look at the videos that people are posting 10 ways to get closer to god as if it's an entertainment it's a spirituality is a business these days spirituality yeah. is a big business industry i think i really think that definitely and you know when what? you mm-hmm. and when you are all the time seeking entertainment because the rush of dopamine right every 5 seconds you're scrolling down and you're seeing entertainment and entertainment and so much entertainment that when suddenly when you stop watching video you start to feel a bit low because yesterday's boring has become today's sadness mm-hmm. right you know, and yesterday uh, yes, right this is right because if you are hooked on on entertainment the whole time your senses have to take some break you know yeah because you know when our body gets used used to this a uh, certain level of dopamine right it really feels so bored of what the, the things that are coming it needs more right so we we become the slave 
of our this uh, the faculty of our mind that needs entertainment so we are consuming so many any entertainment is a th- stuff that we call entertainment but we still hungry for more but why the question is aman why why are we really seeking entertainment what is that emptiness